Alrighty, in this video we're going to add a little bit of extra kind of polish to this. What I want to have happen is I want there to be a particle effect when a buzzsaw is uh, instantiated and also when it's destroyed. So there's a couple ways we can do it. Uh, we could add a uh, particle effect property onto the path projectile spawner, um, saying that every time it spawns a projectile to perform or to do a certain kind of particle effect. And I think that would probably make the most sense. And then in addition to that, we could have on our actual path projectile, we could also have an effect added here for when the projectile is destroyed. So let's put the code together real fast because that's going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into path projectile spawner and we're going to add a new public game object um, spawn effect. Now on spawn effect, all the way at the end of our update method is when our shot will happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if spawn effect is does not equal null, instantiate spawn effect, transform position, transform rotation. So this allows us to decide even not to have a spawn effect by simply not setting it to anything or setting it to null. So we're going to do this exact same thing over our, on our path projectile. In fact, I can just bring these up side by side and we can take a look at how to do that. All we're going to do is up here we're going to say public game object destroy effect and then on my update method right before we destroy ourselves I'll say if destroyed effect does not equal null then instantiate destroy effect transform position transform rotation so we're just instantiating an object in this case it'll be a game object the particle system and an auto destroy script on it all right, so let's exit out of full screen. Let's jump back into Unity and actually create those effects. I'm just going to bring over here for my effects, I'm going to bring over my small yellow burst, and then I'm going to change it a little bit. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go up to Game Object and say Break Prefab Instance, and I'm going to call it um, Medium Gray or Medium Black Burst. We're going to change our uh, start size to maybe 3. We're going to change our spart start speed maybe to 5. Then we're going to change our color over lifetime to be black. Or how about a little gray? Or how about even better? I can do a random between two gradients. Have one be a blackish color. And then the second one, we'll, ha we'll set our opacity down to zero, will kind of be a lighter grayish color. I think there's too much, I think it's too light. So I'm going to come in here, on the right hand side I'm going to have this go down to dark, and then I'm going to do that. Alright, and then I'm going to have this uh, go from black how about this go from black to gray and the other one go from gray to black? That would be an interesting effect. Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of looks like a cannon shooting something. Maybe add a gravity multiplier to it. Um, gravity multiplier like 0.5. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. It looks kind of like fireworks. Sort of, if they were black. Okay, the point is, is that it can be whatever you want. Um, tweak or uh, play around with it a little bit more. I'm sure you, people can find something that would suit them. I just want to definitely add a little bit more polish, though, because I don't like things just appearing and then disappear. So I want to break, bring medium black uh, burst. I want to place it in my effects folder. Now I want to come up here and I want to say uh, break prefab instance, and I want to do a medium brown burst. And this is going to be for when the projectile hits something and dies. So instead of black and gray, I'll just do a normal gradient and I'll select one of these one of these colors and I'll select maybe a darker one of these colors. 
and that's fine. Again, I can sit here and play with this for hours, so I'm just going to go ahead and prefabify it, and we have our medium black burst and our medium brown burst. And we can modify these later if we want to. Then I'm going to go ahead and move uh, this end point, this destination, a little bit to the right. So open up my cannon, go to my destination, move it a little bit to the right. Then on my projectile spawner, I want to click and drag medium black burst to the spawn effect. And then I'm going to hit apply. Then I'm going to open up my projectiles prefab and I'm going to scroll down here to um, destroy effect and I'm going to set it to medium brown burst. So we have a prefab that's going to instantiate a prefab, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what we have. Wow, that instantly looks a million times better. I know you can't see it, Steve, very well, but just the fact that they're no longer appearing out of nothing. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, there it is. There it is. I had to wait for it to time up just right. <laughs> um, I do want to, on the brown burst, though, I do want to give it a... Um, uh, mission burst... Where's its velocity? Or its speed? Um, let's do... Velocity over lifetime and give it a negative x velocity of like 0.2. Oh wow, that looks... there we go. So I gave it a ne negative x velocity over time to 0.2, and now it looks like when it's hitting that dirt, it's kind of like spewing um, uh, dirt, kicking up dirt all over that little area. But yeah, definitely looks more That's polished. That's very cool. Awesome. And now we give you a kudos for that. Well, the whole point about this, or, or this particular thing, the reason why I wanted to include this in the video, is just hiding the play, hiding things that aren't perfect. Because if you really want a game to feel really polished, is you don't want any objects to really appear out of nowhere, then disappear arbitrarily. You want to make it look like they're appearing and disappearing for a reason. For example, being shot out of a cannon, or hitting a wall and turning into dust. Alrighty, so I think that pretty much wraps up the particle effects that I wanted to do, and we'll see you guys in the next video.